Hi guys, I am Rebecca and these are my reviews and today I have a big box of so much random stuff for you. So, uh, buckle your seats folks because this might be a long one. But it's some really fun and exciting things. Okay, so let me just, let me show you all this tea that's taking up all of this room. I have a lot of tea. I know, I think in my last video I talked about a bunch of tea as well. In fact, I think I talked about Tea Me blends. Well, Tea Me decided to send me two more of their blends, I guess. Uh, this is Focus and this is Profit. This one is a green tea and it has goji berries in it, which makes it a very beautiful tea and it's fine. It's not necessarily my favorite. Like, it's an okay tea but it's not something that I find myself reaching for all the time, you know what I mean? Uh, the Focus I do like a little bit better. This one has all kinds of fun stuff in it. Yerba Mate, and, or Mate, or whatever it's called. Uh, something else I can't pronounce. Peppermint Leaf, Black Tea, blah, 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 blah. Bunch of stuff. This one is a really interesting tea, and I've been drinking this one a bit more than the Profit one, but that's just because I don't like green tea. So if you like green tea, you might like the Profit one. Um, anyway, and then I bought a bunch of stuff from Tea Pigs. Now I have been drinking, it's empty because I put them in a tin. <laughs> I've been drinking this Tea Pigs licorice and peppermint tea for literally years. I love this stuff. It is naturally sweet, so I don't have to put any sweetener in it. So if I'm trying to watch my sugar intake, which I have been lately, uh, this is a great alternative to something like this, which I would absolutely put honey in. Licorice and peppermint sounds so weird, I know, but it really is so good. I love this. It is very strong. One temple can literally last me three mugs, three giant mugs. So it's a really interesting tea and I drink it all the time. I love this stuff. So I decided to try some of their other teas and I was looking for dessert type teas. So anyway, this is the Roybus Creme Caramel and this one actually has little bits, uh, like little chunks of caramel in the tea, um, but there's not a lot of them and it's not a very strong flavor. Mostly it just tastes like regular rooibos tea. So this one isn't, like I, I don't know if I would recommend this one as a dessert tea, but it does just kind of, like I would get their regular rooibos tea rather than the creme caramel one because I feel like, I don't know, it's just not enough. I feel like it's misleading, you know? <laughs> um, this one is the chocolate and mint. This one needs more chocolate in it, in my opinion, but it is very minty and I do like this one a lot. And this one is sweet, but it's not super sweet. Like the licorice and peppermint one is really sweet. This one is like a subtle sweet. I feel like this one is best with a little bit of cream in it. You know, I haven't been putting sugar, but a little bit of cream helps it just to taste a little more desserty. Um, and then this one, Snooze, I believe this is a new blend for them, their Sleepy Tea. Yeah, this one has apple pieces, chamomile flowers, and lavender flowers. And my main gripe with this is that it's just not strong at all. Like when you're used to this one, which is crazy strong, and then you go to this, it's like, what the heck? It has no flavor to it. I feel like I'm just drinking a cup of hot water. So that's a bummer. I don't, I don't know what the deal is with that, but totally disappointed with this one. Um, if you want a sleepy time tea, I would definitely go with the Tea Me Relax. I really like that one. But Tea Pigs in general, fantastic stuff. It's a little more on the pricey side, but in my opinion, it's worth it. Okay, I have this guy right here, which is actually a yoga mat, and you can get this on Amazon. They did send this to me for review, but I love this thing. My only issue with it is that it's very thin. So this side is like a rubberized side, so it's, you know, a non-slip kind of a thing, and then this side is more like a terry cloth towel kind of a thing, but it is very thin. This is not cushiony. In fact, the way that I've been using this is I put this over my squishy mat, because I don't like laying on it when I'm all sweaty. I, it just, it's like the grossest feeling ever. So normally I just put a towel over it, right? Well, with this, this has a built-in towel and it doesn't slide because even, you know, with like a regular towel on my squishy mat, it bunches up and slides all over the place and this one doesn't. So the two together have been perfect for me. If you're doing yoga or exercising on a softer area, grass, carpet, 
whatever. Um, I think this would be fine on its own, but on my hardwood floors, I need the extra padding. Um, but I do love having this. Having the two together is perfect. This is much better than just a towel on its own. So I will leave a link where you can get this from Amazon. It is inexpensive and handy dandy. And it comes in, I think, purple and blue, I wanna say. I don't remember. Anyway, I will leave a link in the description box. Oh, this also sent to me. This is from Canvas. Don't you love the bag on this? I think this is so cute. So they sent me two liquid lipsticks, a brown and a blue. Where are they? And the first time they sent these, it was, it was not pretty. They like separated and it was like, ooh, I don't know if it was the heat because I think they're coming from Florida. Um, but it did not go well. So they sent me a revamped formula, which was much, much better, but still a bit crumbly. Like, it, you know, you could wear it for a little while, but it wasn't my favorite. Um, but they sent me these pigments as well, and the pigments I love. They're just beautiful, beautiful colors. I like the packaging. It has this fun little, like, cap on it. It's not hard to get off, so it doesn't thunk, and then you spill everything everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then it has like little salt shaker kind of holes in it, and um, oh, they sent me a spray too. I don't think I brought it out here. Anyway, it's just a spray, and you can dip your, so you dip your brush in this, and then you spray the brush, and you have wonderful, fabulous colored pigments. Um, so this one is like a tealy color, and then this one is like a chocolate brown, it's like a shimmery chocolate brown, it's so pretty. This one's called Fangirl, and this one is Turmoil. So I will link their website down below. They have a lot of really fun, beautiful colors. Oh, I have some skincare for you. Okay, so a while ago I talked about some Nudu products, and the company sent me this, which is their new Overnight Radiance Renew Cream. It's lovely, it's wonderful. I think, you know, you would probably use this in place of your regular night moisturizer. And it feels lovely. I love the Nudu products. When I'm using the whole line with the toner and the cleanser, I feel like the whole line works so well together and just gives you beautiful, radiant skin. And this on its own, I've ran out, I've run out of all of my other stuff, sadly, because I did love it. But I do love Nudu products and they all smell like lemon cream pie or something. It smells so nice. Okay. Mm. Speaking of things that smell good, I picked up the Candy Johnson Too Faced collab. This is the I Want Candy Banana Pudding Powder. And I also got the eyeliner. Where's my eyeliner? And then um, I bought them from Ulta, and so I got this little case too, which I think is super duper cute, and it came with a sample of Better Than Sex Mascara which I have like 14 samples of this, so I'll probably just put that in my uh, giveaway pile. Anyway, the banana powder has like these little flecks of colored things in there, and it's just supposed to make your skin look radiant and glowy, as well as set your makeup, and it smells like banana pudding. I've used this a couple of times, and so far I really like it, and I am obsessed with this eyeliner. I feel like it's been a while since I've used a true liquid liner like this. And so at first I was like, oh, that takes me a second to get used to it because I've been so used to like the felt tip marker types or just pencils or gel. Anyway, this is a liquid liner and it has, instead of a brush, it has this little angled sponge tip, which I think is really interesting. And at first it, it was like, uh, I'm not that, mm. But now that I've used it a couple times, I love it. You can kind of stamp it on. It's really easy to use. It's definitely squishy, so you know you can glide it on and you can get a nice point or a nice thick line or whatever. The formula of the liner itself is really nice. It's so inky and black and dark. And then if you put it on and then after it dries, you kind of go over it again, you know, maybe because this eye got a little more out of control and so you go back to this eye, that kind of thing. It doesn't crumble on itself, which is nice because I've used so many liquid liners that once they're dry, you can't really touch them up because they start crumbling underneath. So anyway, I love this stuff. I think it's fantastic. I love the wand on it. I love the formula of the liner. It's been lasting me all day without smudging or anything. So I'm really happy with this. This I got from Influencer. This is Ole Henriksen Wonder Feel Double Cleanser. This is supposed to be a makeup remover and a, face, and a facial cleanser, and it smells like black currant, which smells really nice. It's not super strong, but it's fruity, and it smells really good. It is a very thick, creamy consistency, and it is pretty good at getting your makeup off, but I feel like it doesn't get everything off. Like, 
you know, I, I went in and I used it twice. Like I washed my face, rinsed it, and it comes with a muslin cloth and then you know you can like wipe it off. But then I went over it with some micellar water and it was like, oh, that's filthy. So I washed my face again and then it was clean. So I don't know, I don't know. I think maybe if your face is already clean, it might be an okay cleanser. But as far as getting your makeup off and cleaning your face, I feel like I have to wash my face twice which is kind of what I do anyway to get my makeup off because I use an oil cleanser and then a regular cleanser. So I don't know, I don't know. I'll keep using that and I'll let you guys know how I feel about it. But so far I've only used it a couple of times and I think it's nice. It's just not doing what I want it to do, if that makes sense. Okay, some more skincare for you. These are from a company called Better Skin. I have the Lava Magic and the Miracle Cream. So the Lava Magic is a scrub and you it, it says you could use it daily as a cleanser, but it's way too scrubby for me to use daily. Um, it does, however, make a really good scrub and you can also leave it on your skin for a mask. I really like using this as a mask. Daily cleanser, nope, absolutely not. But as a mask and scrub, yes, I like it a lot. This is their Miracle Cream, which is supposed to be your serum, your eye cream, your face cream, all in one, and it's just supposed to do magical things to your skin. And it is just a really nice cream. I like it a lot. Both of these came with little scoops, um, but this one I just kind of, I don't know, the scoop was irritating me, I stopped using it. But I do really like this cream. It's luxurious feeling, thick and heavy. I'm not sure if I like it as a day cream, but as a night cream, absolutely. And I love the two together. So after I've done my scrubby mask, I put this on and my skin just feels magical and wonderful. So I really do like both of these. So speaking of getting your makeup off, I picked up these makeup eraser towels. <laughs> this is this is like the Ulta version of makeup eraser, which I've never actually tried the original makeup eraser. So I don't know how they compare. Maybe I should pick one of those up. Um, but this is the Ulta, Ulta brand one, the makeup removing towels and the you are supposed to be able to remove your makeup using just this no other cleanser or anything I don't I'm not getting that from it I do think it works well after I've put like an oil on my face and then I use this to kind of you know scrub it off of my face this is so soft I mean can't you just see how velvety soft this looks it's just it's so soft it's so so I don't know, I don't, I'm not really getting the best results using it just on its own. But if you guys have used the original makeup eraser, let me know what you think of that and maybe I will go ahead and try it. Um, but this one, meh. Also from Ulta, this I actually really love. This is the Beauty Smarts New Hue Shadow Switching Pan and it's just this tin with this and this is like a rougher squishy thing and then this is a little sponge that you can wet and this is for when you're doing your makeup and you need to switch colors you just wipe off your brush on this and it really does help to get the color off your brush this is not a deep cleaning by any means but it will absolutely help if you're switching colors while you're doing your makeup and then the wet one helps with like cream products liner that kind of a stuff that kind of a stuff, that kind of a thing. So anyway, I really like this. This is a handy dandy little tool to have around. So in several videos now, I think I've been raving about the Dose of Colors Stone Liquid Lipstick. So I picked up a couple more colors. I have Truffle, which is more of like a, like a warm beigey nude color. It's very pretty, very wearable. And then what I have on my lips right now, this is Los Angeles, like, um, I'm so jealous you have this pretty lipstick. Jealous. Um, and I, I love this color. I think it's such a beautiful, it's like a muted red. It's kind of a pinky, I don't know. I don't know, you can see it. It's beautiful and I love it. And I love the formula on these. The red definitely feels more thick and creamy than the other ones. That seems to be the case, like in every liquid lipstick brand I've ever tried, reds always have a different consistency than the other colors. I think it must be something about the pigment. It's like, I don't know, anyway. Um, but it still feels very comfortable and it's beautiful and I love it so much. So loving these new shades from Dose of Colors. They're not actually new shades, but they're new to me. Um, this I got, this is um, just like the little sample version of IT Cosmetics Tight Line. This is supposed to be like a pre-mascara. I guess you could use it as a mascara, but let's, do you see how tiny that wand is? You're supposed to use it to basically tight line, like 
get in there and put it on your, you know, the base of your lashes, I don't think it works at all. Like, at all. I keep trying to use it and I'm like, it doesn't, I'm not, I don't know. I don't know, this does nothing for me. Um, okay, and then this is a phone case. I have it on my phone right now. This is from Amiga Box. So, you know, you've got the button on the back right here that's like shaped like a diamond, and you press that and up pops your selfie light. And if you hold it down, it will change the brightness. And then you can also like, if you wanna give people epilepsy, you can do that. I don't understand that one. But it does have, a mirror on the back so you can, you know, touch up your makeup, check out yourself, you know, whatever. So there's this big mirror and you can squeeze like one credit card in there, maybe a, a dollar bill or something, you know, it's, it's not a lot of space to put something, but you can technically put something in that little space. My issue is that this clasp right here is really difficult to get it open. Like really, I can't, there we go. If I do it from the bottom, it's a little bit easier, but like right here, I'm gonna break a nail or something. I can't do it. I asked Colin if he could do it, he couldn't do it. <laughs> so, and from the top, it doesn't work as well as from the bottom. That's my only gripe with this. Anyway, um, fun phone case, I will link that. I love the selfie light feature. I really, really do. Living with it on my phone, because I hate those clip-on ones, I hate those. But having it on your phone case can be really handy, not just for taking selfies, but like, you know, if you're trying to find your keys in the dark or, you know, looking under the couch for something that you lost and you've got, you know, I always have my phone on me and then I can just, you know, bust this out and look at it and it is a nice bright light. And you can also, um, while the mirror is open, the light is also on the inside of here as well. So, um, but I'm telling you, it's fairly blinding. <laughs> these are some whiskey stones. I am so in love with these whiskey stones. This is from a brand new company. This is like their Kickstarter pack. So I will leave the link to their Kickstarter if you are into whiskey stones. They have a lot of really cool shapes. I really love, you know, the, the crazy shapes and they have skull ones that I really love. Um, and they work well, they're, you know, they're nice little fun whiskey stones. Um, if you are unfamiliar with whiskey stones in general, basically it's for keeping your beverage cold without watering it down with ice. So those are fun to have. Um, and then last but not least, I have not one, but two sock boxes. Evidently sock boxes are like the newest thing. There are so many different sock boxes out there. So Sock It To Me Monthly is actually running a thing right now. Um, you can submit your designs and possibly be the design on the next socks that they make, which I think is really cool. So I will link that definitely. Um, if you are an artist, I would absolutely submit. I mean, why not? So these are some fun, ridiculous socks with little roses with kitties on them. You guys know I love cats. Um, and they have little like ruffles at the top, which I think are so cute. These are like the girliest, most ridiculous socks ever. And they're great. And they're um, a bit thick, but they're, you know, not like crazy thick. I don't know, they just, they're really soft and I can't wait to wear these. And then these ones, which are a bit thinner, and obviously longer, and it's a fox in a box. <laughs> I don't know, I think these are so cute. I love fun and crazy socks. So that is Sock It To Me Monthly. And the other sock box I have, Keep It Simple Socks. These are from Columbus, Ohio. These are less crazy, but still beautiful socks, and they feel really nice. These are really great quality, you know, like dress socks. I like the zigzaggy blue on those. And then these actually came with a pair of sunglasses as well, which I thought was kind of fun. These aren't the style of sunglasses that I would ever wear, but you know, I still think it's cute that they throw in a pair of shades. These are cute. I wouldn't wear them for several reasons. One, I like big ridiculous sunglasses, and two, nose pads. Can't do nose pads, just can't do them. But anyway, these are super cute, so I will give those to somebody else who I'm sure will appreciate them. This one also came with a little raffle ticket and they do giveaways and stuff, so if you follow them on social media, 
and you have your little raffle ticket, which I just think is a super cute and fun idea. So anyway, that one is Keep It Simple Socks. Whew, I think I'm finally done with all of these fun and wonderful things. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I will leave all of the links and information in the description box. So if you are interested in any of these products, make sure that you check that out. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!